What's up guys? Welcome into Thursday Think Tank with Greggy B. And we gotta do some thinking because there has been some pain in the market. Not so much for the Dow Industrial and the value trade, but if you're a Kathy Wood fan, if you're an ARK Invest fan, some of those plays, some of those funds, renewables, EV, solar, all these high flying plays that look into the future. If you are a millennial looking to help future generations and improve the well-being of the planet, you're seeing some pain, we're in trouble. The long-term futuristic stocks and equities are getting drilled. Let's think about it and see what we can do. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's keep it real. On some serious red days when the market is down 2%, 3%, 4%, some of your individual stocks are down 5%, 10%, even 20%, you go into your account, you buy the dip, you buy all seven layers of the dip, and then if you run out of money, or if you don't have any money left, you click, you click, you click, you close your stuff, you go outside, or you go do something, go read a book if it's, not, if it's nasty outside. You go do something else. Stop looking at it every day. It's a 30 year portfolio if, if you know how to invest, okay? It's not something that is going to make a huge difference in the short term. It's a long term approach here, okay? So listen to Kathy Wood and remind yourself of that. So the world is changing. We set up ARC uh, to accommodate uh, or acclimate to this new world. The last few weeks, uh, hasn't done anything except increase uh, the, the returns that we expect uh, from each of our stocks to the extent they've come down. It's only the market that has changed that uh, because a five-year investment time horizon, um, uh, you know, doesn't, the, the, the research doesn't change. In fact, during periods of turmoil and elevated risk and fear, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, innovation actually gains more traction faster. All right, I know that is just one woman's opinion, but Kathy Wood's track record is impeccable and I'm on board with a lot of her opinions and ideas. Check out the full video for sure. I'm gonna link it below. She talks a lot about disruptive technology and her approach uh, with everything going on. So, and, and going back to what I said earlier about just getting up and, and leaving, you know, I was being a bit facetious, but not really, you know, you, you don't always need to be staring at it. And if there's nothing you can do, if the market's tanking, uh, like I said, you, you pick up some of the stocks that look juicy to you that look a little cheap, but other than that, there's not much you can do. So you got to, you know, use your time productively, do some research. If you want to sit there and still be on your computer, you know, don't just watch the, the red candlesticks, just do some research, find some new companies, uh, make sure you believe deeply in your companies. And that's the whole meaning be behind when I said, just get up and leave. If you do your research, do some due diligence, buy into the companies at around a price that you think is a good deal. If it goes down, you should actually be happy. You should be thrilled if you have some buying power so you can load up more because according to you, this is gonna be a successful company in the longer term and that's why you're buying these shares. So that that's kind of my take on red days and the psychology of it. And even though the human brain is programmed in the opposite way, it's necessary to have that self-discipline to remember those thoughts. I do wanna make just a couple final points, but I wanna keep this video short and sweet. So the main premise is just have the right psychology around stocks going down and don't panic. Don't be in the Weeble comments saying, what's going on, my account's going down. You know, I, I, I don't know if people are joking when I read those or if, if people are just really struggling with life, but buy companies that you think have bright futures Try to get them at good valuations. Try to understand valuations, even though the market is rapidly changing in that regard. Uh, and and don't panic. And don't panic when they're going down. Now, in the midst of all this, I have been buying a couple companies, so I did want to share those tickers. Uh, one company that I've been buying on this negativity has been Enphase Energy ticker symbol ENPH, and then another one is CRISPR. Therapeutics, which I normally don't like pharmaceutical companies, but this is not your typical pharmaceutical company. It's it's into gene editing, and I believe they're trying to do it in a humane way, and it's very serious technology, and I think they're taking a great approach with it. So I believe in these guys long-term. CRISPR, ticker symbol CRSP. Uh, and then a third company, just to always keep on your radar, is, is Tesla. Uh, it's just such a pure company and the reason I haven't added is because I right now I have 10 shares and my average cost is right around like 378 and I just 
I want to add because right now it's just still hovering around $600 and I like it. It's a good buy here. And I think once this gets its momentum again, it's going to cruise into the four figures and beyond. Those are some tickers to be looking at throughout all this weakness. I think those have taken some hits that can't last forever. Uh, but then just overall, you know, look into the industries that have been under a lot of pressure and take your stance based on what side of history you want to be on. And if you think these renewable solar electric vehicle innovative companies that are going to better our planet and be good for our environment and atmosphere in our future, if you think these guys are going to win out in the long term or if the other side of history is going to continue to run its course for a while still yet. Let me know what you think. You guys can clearly see that I'm more on the innovative side and although I try to keep a little bit of a barbell portfolio. It is NASDAQ heavy and innovative heavy, uh, but we'll see uh, what's to come over the next few months and few years here. And I'm always trying to rebalance in a, in a smart way, but this video is purely just to remind you guys to have the right psychology on red days. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.